Hello everypony. I know it's been quite some time since I've released a video, but I am finally back from my almost two month hiatus. Now, without further ado, I present to you The Missing Elements. Friendship is very powerful, and My Little Pony shows its core values by featuring the elements of harmony. Namely, honesty, generosity, loyalty, laughter, kindness, and magic. All of those, apart from magic, have their roots in being a very common trait of many real-life friendships. However, I'd like to add that good friendships often feature many more traits that are seen. In this video, we will explore the five missing elements and their bearers. But before this video properly starts, hello everypony, my name is Louis Sammy Brief, and I make bi-weekly documentaries exploring the world of My Little Pony and its respective community. Be sure to stay tuned into my channel for future videos as I plan to be doing YouTube for quite some time. Thank you and enjoy your time here. To get us started off, we have an element that many fans of the show have already thought of, that being the element of forgiveness. Forgiveness is a very important trait of strong friendships as it's what allows us to overcome issues and arguments with other people. The character that I think most accurately fits this description is Starlight Glimmer. In case you're not familiar with her past, I will quickly bring you up to speed. <gasps> she controlled an entire society that forced her ideology for... It's actually never directly said in the show, but it implies that it was for quite some time. To make it even worse, the ponies that she took over were her friends. This was, of course, put to a halt by Twilight and her friends, like everything in the show. Starlight then spent most of Season 5 stalking Twilight and spent the finale exacting revenge by <clears throat> breaking the timeline and creating several different alternate realities of the Equestria. That was fortunately stopped by Twilight and the power of friendship wins again, fortunately. But wow, that is a lot, and as much as I'd love to do a deep dive into Starlet's character right now, I will hold off on that for another video. With that being said, to make a long story short, she was reformed, she was forgiven, but that's not all forgiveness impacts her character. During the season 6 premiere, she ended up getting back in touch with her childhood best friend, the pony that made her hate the concept of cutie marks and friendships in general, and whose absence ruined her life for, well, most of her life. Forgiving Sunburst is one thing, after all, it wasn't his fault that he got a cutie mark, it's normal, it's natural, but forgiving the system that ruined your life takes serious willpower and strength, and for that, I believe Starlight is worthy of representing our element of forgiveness. wouldn't take away from the fact that the I defendant- I am not crazy! Of course, Starlight Glimmer isn't the only pony that is commonly seen as the owner of the element of forgiveness. Another common bearer is Sunset Shimmer, and honestly, I see why. After all, she did turn into a quote, I turned raging into a she raging demon, she -demon. Her words, not mine, that tried to take over everything and she was forgiven. In fact, she even later forgave Saitwai which I'm sure makes a pretty solid argument, and I'll admit, when I first started researching and writing the script for this video, I went in with the thought process of, Sunset Shimmer is the element of forgiveness, that's a given. But now, I believe I was wrong. Here's why. I'm sure you know what perseverance means, it's essential to overcome mistakes in almost anything in life. It's a sense of hope and feeling that as long as you put in effort, you will succeed. Well. Take a wild guess on what character spent a whole entire movie apologizing and recognizing her past mistakes and at the end overcame her fear of being publicly hated? That's right, Sunset Shimmer. I believe the best example of her persevering outside of the entirety of the Rainbow Rocks movie is within the song My Past Is Not Today, where she takes accountability for her actions, acknowledging them, and accepts that it was wrong and then she moves on. Like a phoenix burning in the sky, Sunset Shimmer keeps calm and carries on. This is why I believe she's the best candidate for the element of perseverance. Disclaimer before I get into the next part. This is a very short segment and I'm aware of that because I think this character deserves his own video entirely. Without further delay, here is our scheduled program. Sunset Shimmer and Starlight Glimmer are two ponies that every brony theorist has said something along the lines of, 
They are the seventh element of harmony. This also includes me. But who said only ponies could be an element of harmony? During the season 2 premiere, while they need a stand-in for Rainbow Dash, Twilight voluntells Spike to be in that role. That led many analysts to saying that it actually makes a lot of sense, and I don't necessarily disagree. Although I did make an entire video defending Rainbow Dash, so I suppose I can see it, but I don't agree with it. But that's a subject for that video and not this one. But I believe Spike represents something much more. Friends need to be there for each other when they need it. They need to be reliable. This is a description that fits Spike perfectly. He's always there for Twilight, he defends Thorax, he sets time aside for Rarity, not to mention who's the one character besides the main six that appears in Borderline every episode? That's right, you guessed it, Spike! This just proves to me that Spike is the holder of the element of reliability. He's always there for every pony that needs him. Now, admittedly, the first three are relatively obvious. I mean, they are characters that are often proposed to be the owners of these so-called unseen elements. But the next two are rather peculiar and definitely worth talking about. I now present to you Discord, the element of adaptability. In my opinion, adaptability is one of the most important traits for a friendship to have because it ensures that the friendship stays fresh and constantly succeeds under pressure. Who better to test the main six's adaptability than by having them interact with the literal god of chaos? But it goes so much deeper than that. Discord, as a character, had to adapt and change his ways more than any other character has. Much how, like, Starlight had to forgive the system that hurt her, Discord had to adapt to this new, friendly way of life, where chaos isn't seen in a very positive light. Need I remind you that Discord is supposed to be chaotic? If he isn't, he quite literally disappears. Not to mention, I have a sneaking suspicion that he only really enjoyed Fluttershy prior to the season 4 finale. This means that he had to adapt to the others being there, and along the way he ended up seeing them as friends too. Discord is one of the most interesting characters in the entire show, and he has been through so much, been on every side, done everything possible. Throughout that time, I believe he's shown that he represents the element of adaptability. Our last unseen element of harmony we will look at is one that will come to a shock to many of you. I'm sure some of you will have to pause and quickly type in the comments asking if I'm fully sane or not. I will be straightforward and say it though, our last element is the element of passion, represented by Trixie Lulamoon. I can hear the confusion already, but allow me to explain. Trixie is a very passionate character overall, she's the only character in the show that speaks in third person. She is a show pony and she talks very loudly. She has a general passion for life as a whole. I mean, she worked on a rock farm for at least a few months just to get revenge with the Alicorn amulet on a unicorn she knew nothing about. That takes a lot of dedication and passion, Kalai. And when Starlight befriended Trixie, she was noticeably happier and even had plans to include her in one of her acts when she's strictly a solo act. She was proud to have her friend and showed her off to Twilight, which in my opinion shows the passion she still had against Twilight. Before I continue on, I will have to put a trigger warning here. If you do not wish to hear anything about um, Sewer Slide, please skip to the timestamp I put in my pinned comment. Go down there and click that. <sighs> With that being said, when Starlight told Trixie off, Trixie was sent in a depressive spiral. She was going to finish this show that Starlight helped her to create regardless if it meant that it might be the last one. She knew she might not survive this. This, in my opinion, shows how much she really cared about Starlight. Based on the fact she's willing to give up when her only friends abandon her just like that. Fortunately, Starlight had a change of heart and saved Trixie from putting on the show on her own, by extension, saving her life. This resulted in Trixie remaining passionate, realizing that Starlight did care about her, and vice versa. For these reasons, I declare Trixie to be the element of passion. The magic of friendship is not limited to just the six elements of harmony. It is also not limited to these five examples I just mentioned. It can be shown in many different ways and shapes and sizes. There are many traits of a good friendship, 
I may actually make a follow-up video to this, as I'm sure in this beautiful show, there are more hidden messages and missing elements in between the lines. But right now, I've been Larry Semibrief, thank you for watching, and before I go, mark your calendars on March 29th, as that's when my next video is going to be, and it's going to be a theory that I've seen No Pony talk about yet. So it's going to be really exciting, and I'm really excited for it. Now, I have to go. Goodbye, Heavy Pony.